Hey guys, I'm glad you're here. We're gonna do two videos in one today. We're gonna do my one month after head shave update and I'll be dyeing my bleached buzz cut pink with overtone. First, we'll start off with the hair growth update. It's been one month since I shaved my head. If you get super close, is that too close? You can see the regrowth. Remember, I bleached the hair, was it one week after I shaved my head, I think? All this is linked below if you missed the videos. I used a three guard to shave it and and then a week later, I bleached it and it was horribly yellow. Then I used Fanola to tone it down. So this is regrowth. And one thing I find really funny is the frame it leaves on your face. Do you see? Because it's like growing in browner, my natural color. This is more my natural color. And uh, it kind of frames the face. <laughs> one really funny thing, when I shaved my head, I still had a major part down the middle and I had my bang part. And that lasted a couple of weeks. It wasn't until after I bleached it and a little bit more time. And uh, you can see all the parts are completely gone now. This is one month later, like it's been gone for a while, which is exciting because I was like, how stupid do I look with a shaved head and I still have a part going on. It looked ridiculous. One thing I mentioned in my one week update was that I had like a phantom ponytail feeling. It felt like I always had a ponytail on my head. That's gone. And the sensitivity is also gone. I can wear a hood and stuff. It doesn't really bother me. It still feels a little bit weird because it like sticks on the stubble, but it's not so annoying. One thing that's becoming increasingly obvious with the hair regrowth is I have a cowlick here. Do you see this? Here goes kind of like naturally goes back and this one just kind of like goes forward, whatever. I don't think it's long enough to really use product or I could, but I kind of like the like soft fuzziness of it. For now, it's just naturally going down on the sides. So here, I'm pleasantly surprised with how it's growing out in the back. I thought it was gonna be a situation I'd have to have my husband shaving my neck every week, but uh, I feel like it's not that offensive back there. It's not like a big nasty mess, so I haven't shaved it. I will keep doing these monthly updates and let you know how it's growing, and I'm taking weekly pictures, front, sides, back, and eventually I will do a fun montage of that maybe after one year. So that's my one month hair regrowth update, and uh, onward to the fun color. I reached out to my friendly rep at Overtone. I love them. Been using them for years. Link in video description. I have a playlist of all the amazing colors I've done. But now that it's bleached, I thought, what a fun time to start doing past. Pastels, and she sent me five pastel colors to try. I posted in the community tab, which I finally have because I got enough subscribers. Thank you, by the way. I let you guys vote. I had pink, magenta, purple, blue, and teal. And you guys voted, and the winner is, drum roll please, pink. So we're gonna start with overtone pastel pink. I posted in like a DIY hair color group and everybody was like, those pastels aren't gonna work, honey. You gotta bleach it to a total white for pastels to work. Or it's gonna be splotchy or just not come out with the right color. And I said, you know what? I don't wanna bleach it again. So if it doesn't come out right, then I will uh, figure out how to fix it. But for now, I just wanna see what happens. My gut feeling is that pink plus yellowish blue Blonde will end up like a salmon color, and I'm okay with that. I'm not okay if it's like really splotchy. We'll see what happens. As I always say, it's just hair. Have some fun. Let's go. Here goes nothing. I am hoping this stuff is not quite as strong as the regular dyes, which tend to get my forehead and my ears, and I don't have any hair to hide under, any bangs anymore, so. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not disgusting after this, but we're gonna give it a try. I love overtone. There's no ammonia, no bleach, no bad stuff. It's like good for your hair. It's a conditioning mask, basically, that has pigment. And look at this bubble gum color. Ah! It always smells so good. Minty and yummy. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I love how thick and creamy it is. Really easy to put on. Shampoo method, as always, massage it in. No professional technique or abilities over here. This is so much easier than with the long hair. I'm digging this look. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> I'm having a flashback of my bleaching my hair, but this one is no fizzy or burning or stinging. This one is just pleasant and nice smells and I love it. I think I gotta try to get it off my skin. I 
think we're good. It says to leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna be bold and go for 30. Stay tuned. Well, <laughs> it's pink. It's not salmon. It's also not pastel. So I would say maybe stick to the 10 to 15 minutes as they suggested if you really want pastel because this is more of a hot pink. But I love it. It's not splotchy that I can tell. I love it. I think that it's probably gonna fade out quickly. It says to reapply once a week or whatever, but with the short hair, oh my God, it was so easy. I think these pastel colors, the pigment is probably much lighter than I'm used to, which I'm used to the ones for brown hair. So it doesn't really stain your skin nearly as bad or at all. Really easy to apply on the buzz cut. I literally just did the shampoo method. I used a mirror to check the back and there was like a big blotch here that I had missed the first time and I just rubbed it in. And then I used a wet wipe to kind of like clear my skin. And then I let it just sit on for 30 minutes. As I said, this ended up being much brighter than anticipated, but I'm here for it. They have the in shower conditioner you can use, which is an even milder pigment, or you can just use that big container that I just used. That's the main pigment. You can just keep using that like once a week or however often you need to refresh. So easy. And their stuff is like good for your hair. It actually helps supposedly condition in your hair so for bleached hair like mine hopefully it'll help keep it all shiny and beautiful i might just let it fade out and then do the next color so comment below do you like the pink what color do you want to see me do next of those pastels i showed you how should i style it i need all the advice thanks for watching if you're not subscribed yet what are you doing do it now bye